Twitter has released a feature that they are saying helps you to vote down comments that are not productive part of the conversation. So, so this is a, an example that Twitter says, uh, some dude says, does anyone have a restaurant recommendation for New York City? I'm going for the first time and I'm overwhelmed. And everyone's like, oh yes, great, great, great. And then this Wade Warren here says, the city's overweighted, not worth the traffic. That is that is their example <laughs> of a voted down of the kind of thing that you should vote down because it's unproductive. Um, even that I would sort of take issue with. Like, so here's the message you get from Twitter that pops up when you log in. Now it says, you know, we're introducing reply down votes. Tap to down vote. So of course this is interesting because who is motivated to do that is anyone who wants to bury information that they don't like, right? So. For instance, the U.S. government can tell you this thing is happening. Someone can respond in a thread and say, I don't think that's happening. Oh, can we all vote that down so that any dissenting voices are algorithmically suppressed? That's interesting. That's actually the take that Edward Snowden has on it. Yeah, he says, Twitter just introduced down votes, an exciting new feature that lets you help the algorithm make this place an even bigger echo chamber than it already is. And I think he's absolutely right about it. This is probably why we are seeing the death of social media. I mean, look at the front page of Drudge this morning. Crash of Facebook, biggest wipeout in history. $252 billion gone. Zuck blames TikTok. And then you saw also, of course, Snapchat had some good earnings, but we're, we're seeing the decline of Facebook. We're seeing the decline of Instagram. We're seeing the decline of Twitter. Um, people just are saying, hey, enough is enough. We don't want to be on these platforms that are suppressing voices. We see that certainly on YouTube. We've seen that, you know, entire YouTube channels being banned because they take a position on something. I mean, look, Dan Bongino's channel, right? Wiped off the face of, of YouTube for, for talking about uh, vaccine mandates, talking about masks. And now what happens, right? He's taken off of YouTube, regardless of how you feel about him. And then two weeks later, now Dr. Scott Gottlieb and, and doctors are having a frank discussion about mask mandates in schools. Yes. Right? His channel, though, gone two weeks ago. And now guess what? The CDC and doctors are having the same discussion about this very same thing that he talked about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, it's, it's so interesting to see how, you know, certain people will be just... Yeah. And who's going to use this, right? Both sides will use this to even this example here. I'd like, I was like, is that really not productive for someone to say that this example that like, why is that someone to be silent? Okay, so let's take, let's take this apart. This is you, this is Twitter's example. Okay. So does anyone have restaurant recommendations for New York city? I'm going for the first time and I'm overwhelmed. And then Wade says the city is overrated, not worth the traffic. So and is Wade a troll? Because he says, don't go to New York city. And I didn't like it there. Is that really like a troll worthy of taking the time to say, Wade, don't say that. Right. Why can't Wade feel that way? Right. But no, now we have to, well, uh, you know, now we have to downvote that. Now, I guess, look, this is similar to what they've had on Reddit for a while, right? Things get upvoted. Things get, yeah, things get upvoted and downvoted. So, yes. Okay. I suppose, but it, it is. Um, but it's, it's put under the auspices of, as, as Twitter writes it here, to make Twitter better. Your feedback helps us prioritize higher quality content for you and everyone on Twitter. Don't worry, though. Down votes are private. Your votes aren't public. So we get to, in private, shadow ban people. This is like shadow banning people. You know, it's interesting because Twitter was launched with the idea of microblogging, meaning you share your thoughts as a stream of consciousness. Mm -hmm. But now nobody would use it that way. We have to think so hard about what we say because you could be offensive so easily, right? right. And now you can be punished for your own stream of consciousness, Do you like that, Wade, the okay. troll. Remember that one woman who literally, she tweeted something racist. I don't know what it was. She was, it, it was off color. I don't remember exactly what it was. So. Oh, uh, yes. It was the woman who said, going to South Africa, hope I don't get AIDS. Right. So she tweets that while she's about to take off on a yes. flight. While she's in the air, that tweet goes viral. When she lands, I think she found out she was fired. She lost her boyfriend. She lost her job. She lost her, yeah. Then, All from a tweet. I hope going to South well, Africa, I hope I don't get AIDS. That was very stupid thing to say. Are you saying that she 
shouldn't have lost her whole life. I don't know what the context it. was. I mean, it's, it, that's the context. She's a, a traveling fool. A traveling fool. Okay. Yeah. Should she? Well, should she have been canceled? I guess. I mean, yes. These things happen. These things happen all the time. I don't think those things happen. I have never thought something like that. Like. You know, guess, oh, right. let me just but, say something like an entire continent. So we could downvote her, right? Then we wouldn't see that content. We could just downvote her and say, you know, we, we just want we just want liberal voices here on this platform. We just I want guess. Rachel Maddow's tweets. That's all we we want. Stephen Colbert and Rachel Maddow's but tweets. But where will we place our outrage if we can't like we can't downvote things that we want to hate on? That's you, counterproductive. Then we'll have nothing to do. I mean, I think you could. Look, I think that stuff would bubble to the surface, though, don't you? Any, I mean, I don't know. I just think. Well, we'll have to see how it works. So now the algorithm will push down dissenting voices. Like if you want to talk about things that are important, the things that we talk about here on this show, the things that the mainstream media won't cover. If you make a mention about how school you know, masks in schools are, are hurt. Here, just let's use that as an example, right? Maybe you tweet. Well, there's there's new ev there's evidence emerging that masks in schools are hurting our children developmentally. It's it's really you know, and, and a whole, you give a whole host of reasons. People could just downvote that, so it's it's quieted. We won't see it. Yes. You know these this information just gets hidden. We don't get it no more. You know because we know that Twitter was already doing it. Now it's almost like they're putting the auspices on you yes. to downvote it. That is you hit the you hit the nail on the head. I mean they're they're already shadow banning people, but now it just gives them it gets them off the hook. Yeah. Now it lets you shadow ban people. Yeah that's a bullseye. You're saying it exactly right. That's a yes to all of that. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a membership program for the price of a cup of coffee once a month. You can support independent journalism just by going to morninginvest.com slash join. You get access to exclusive videos, plus the ability to join and chat with us live. We really appreciate your subscription and you are supporting independent journalism.